Much new at five, a Gwinnett County community is grieving the loss of a 16 year old high school cheerleader. She died in a crash. Investigators say 16 year old Caitlin Pollock was in a car with a driver who's now charged with DUI. Channel 2's Elizabeth Rollins is live at Mill Creek High School. Elizabeth, I'm sure a very tough day for students and staff there. Oh, absolutely. She was a beloved member of this community. In fact, students and teachers held a moment of silence for her this morning. It's tragic news that no parent or family member ever wants to receive. Gwinnett County Police are investigating a deadly crash that killed a Mill Creek High School student. Investigators say 16-year-old Caitlin Pollock was the passenger of the single car that crashed near Sugarloaf Parkway in Georgia 316. She was a junior at Mill Creek High and a cheerleader. We spoke to a family friend Monday afternoon. She had a smile that just lit up the room. It happened early Sunday morning. Investigators say the driver, 21-year-old Kyle McDowell, failed to navigate the on-ramp to 316, crashing into a concrete barrier. McDowell only had minor injuries, but he's now facing multiple charges, including driving under the influence and vehicular homicide. Life is precious, and it can be taken away in an instant. Students and teachers at Mill Creek High School held a moment of silence Monday morning. Channel 2 obtained a copy of the statement Principal Jason Lane sent out to students and parents, saying in part, our hearts and thoughts are with the student's family, friends, and loved ones as they cope with this tremendous personal loss. Counselors and social workers will be at our school Monday to provide support, comfort, and reassurance to students who need it. The impact of this tragedy extends beyond just the Mill Creek and Gwinnett County community. Caitlin Pollock was well known and loved by so many people around the state. Her mom told me yesterday, I'm getting calls and messages from people in counties I've never even heard of. It's still unclear how Pollock knew McDowell and where they were going. That question always comes up, why? And there are no answers. Right now, funeral arrangements are still being made. Meanwhile, the driver has not yet been booked in the Gwinnett County Jail. Of course, this is something we'll continue to follow and keep you updated. We're live in Gwinnett County, Elizabeth Rollins, Channel 2 Action News.